Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. All right, today I want to talk about uh, a, great, a great drill for practicing and learning the bump. All right, now the key is like for any drill, A, it's got to give us the movement we want that, we, that we're trying to learn in terms of feel, right? You f as, you say, as you hear me say, when I take practice swings, I feel the swing, then I step up and I swing the feel. We don't swing with mechanics. You can't, you can't connect enough numbers quickly enough in a golf swing. So you're trying to develop feel, okay? So the, one, the, one, the best one I have for the bump is you take your normal setup and your grip and you stand here and you just dot your takeaway carefully into the mitt and up the tree. And then when you get up to the top, when you be bumping and you, and you ring the bell, bing, I want you just to, I want you to make three pumps. Two of you pump, you come down and then you're gonna get up there and you're gonna go one, two, and then on the third one, you're gonna go ahead and bump and let it rip. And you should, if you do this well, now you don't have to be doing this at 100% of your power. You can just do this at about 60, maybe max 70% of your power. So you got your relatively firm grip, one, two, and go. Now you, you gotta make sure that you're getting up there pretty close to where your, where your backswing is gonna be. Now I had, and the reason I brought this up is, I got one of my one longtime students in, 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 in Greenville here, and we've really been making some great progress with, with, uh, with Doc. And, and the bump has always been his bugaboo, but here's why it's been his bugaboo for a number of reasons. The first one is, when I taught him this drill, he got too energetic in it. He was overdoing it. He'd get up here, first off, he wouldn't get high enough. He'd get low and then he'd go, he was way over bumping. He was bumping. At one time, I asked him, I said, how far is your, say, your, your belly button movement? He's saying four or five inches. I said, that's way too much. It's only supposed to be an inch to two. And then because he was doing it that much, he got, he got to the point where to go that much, he had to get too soft in his body, his muscles, his everything. He, just, he was getting too noodly, too loosey-goosey. All right? So I got him to the point. It's only... It's only one inch of movement, so I want you to be about 60-70%. So I said, we got to firm everything up. I want you to really, when you come down, you're, you're, you got the grip pressure. you got the wrists and the forearms really firm to make sure you're holding that club back. We don't want this happening, right? That's no good. That's casting, right? That's just letting it go. we got to get up here. One, two, and then go. And you should be able to hear swoosh all the time, all right? And when I got Doc tightened up, and everything, and he started going, it, it was unbelievable the difference it made in the swing. Because one of the problems he's always had is that, is that when he finally steps up to hit the ball, his arm motion gets really slow. And I mean, it's like he's thinking the ball out there. It just looks like he's got, he has no energy. He's all, he's all pooped out. And it, it's just taking everything he can to move it like that. And that's because once you bump, if you bump too much, you're too far out of position, your arm's got to start trying to go noodly to try to hopefully get the club on the ball and usually that's going to happen with the with you having to hand, slow your arms down so it can kind of throw your, your, your club head at the ball so once he got this once he got this bump down then it became really easy to be stopped making a swing and I mean like once he really got the right muscle tone got it up here and got really got one two and hit it and, and, and only had that bump going like this next thing you know man all of a sudden he's picked up ridiculous amount of club head speed. Heck, it was the first time we ever, he actually got excited. The first time he did it, he heard swoosh. Okay, so one, two, three. And let the big dog eat. Well, that's, that's a great bump drill, but you, like any drill, like anything else, the better you do it, the better results you're gonna have. And as you know, perfect practice makes perfect. All right, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.